this is Jacob from Perfect Circuit, and today we have the Synthi E in front of us. So compared to more well-known instruments like the Synthi AKS and the VCS3, the Synthi E was designed to be the sort of educational counterpart to those more complicated instruments. Where those are known for their more sophisticated patch matrix system using little pins, instead on the Synthi E we have the more familiar patch cable workflow with dedicated patch points um, resembling a lot of these sort of semi-modular instruments that we see today. Given the fact that it was designed to be more of an educational kind of thing, it's interesting to see the sort of things they considered bare essentials for learning synthesis back in the 70s. I mean, you have an LFO, VCO, filter, white noise, and the sort of trapezoid envelope generator thing, VCA, and a two-channel mixer, which all seems pretty straightforward. But what else is super cool about this thing in particular the selection of things here kind of fall into the idea of an electronic music studio, which back in the 70s meant something totally different compared to what it means today. The idea there is that synthesizers were meant to design more experimental sounds you couldn't recreate in the realm of physical instruments, as well as interfacing with tape decks and things like that to kind of sort of involve music concrete and other electronic music that was around at the time. So today, given the educational, explorative nature of this thing, we're going to do a few patches that go into super experimental sound territories, as well as a couple other patches where I bust out my Analog 4 and make use of the external CV input and audio inputs and envelope followers to kind of see how it would interact with other instruments as well.
That's all for today, so I hope you enjoyed my weird little patches on this fun yellow box. It's always fun to get to play with a vintage instrument and see the sounds and kind of philosophies that went into an instrument that's so dated compared to what's going on today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and in the comments, let us know what kind of synthesizer you learned to patch on and make fun sounds with. Thanks for watching. Hey!